Well, I'm in the van and I'm in Lagos in Portugal. Went for a little bike ride earlier on. Um, I'm right in the city at the minute and it's like campsite. And just up the road actually, there's some quite fancy uh, resorts and stuff. So it's quite interesting riding around there on the bike. I'm gonna show you this campsite I'm at. Um, I was recommended it because it was cheap by uh, a fellow synchro on uh, that man on the road, Spanish guy. And um, he said I should come here because it's cheap and it's near good beaches and stuff, which it is, it, like, it's great. But it is a little bit like a skid row. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll show you what it's like here, it's, it's quite funny. And I almost didn't come, like the reviews were so bad, but they were so bad that I was, um, I was intrigued to see just how bad it can be. Because I thought it can't be that bad. But it, it is quite funny. I'll, uh, when you've got reviews like this, <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's quite a laugh. But let, let me show you. Uh, there's people actually living under tops and stuff here. Uh, but I'll show you around if I can do it sneaky. Well, this is my neighbour. Looks like he's been here quite a while. And then there's some English dude over there in a caravan. It looks like it hasn't moved in a very long time. Some kind of setup over there. I can hear some drunk English lady over there in the bar um, arguing with people. <laughs> There's a dude over there. I swear he's living under that tarp. That over there is a shower block. And that's someone over there living in some shanty town made of pallets. <laughs> Oh man. Trying to covertly film more shanty town. Okay, so I had to do that a little bit covertly, so I didn't upset anybody. But um, it was hard to try and film. Um, I'll try and get, I'll get up early in the morning and have a quick walk around with my phone, try and get more of it. But like, I don't feel in danger. But it's just like I don't know, just like shanty town. <laughs> it's, it's quite funny. I think that's the that's the thing with it. It's like. It's almost like so bad it's good <laughs> kind of thing. But yeah, let's see how we get on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, just about to leave this campsite in Lagos. Uh, the city itself is amazing. I had a really good night last night. Uh, I just found a couple of real nice, real ale, um, not real ale, craft beer places. Um, this campsite is an absolute shanty town. Um, it's pretty ropey. Location's great, like it's right in the city, but Jesus, I'm pretty glad to get out of here. Well, good morning. Uh, ended up staying here last night. A um, little bit of a backtrack because um, I didn't get the camera out much. Ended up staying at Mickey's place to stay. It's a pretty infamous campsite. Um, I was told about it from Mike at Chef Campers uh, a few years ago. He said that I should always try and visit there. It is very relaxing, uh, really nice. 
um, it's a place to go just to recharge your batteries and, and that's it did a very good job of that but after two days I was getting itchy feet times getting on slightly and I didn't want to become that guy propping up the bar um, so I headed off um, made a bit of a mistake or a little bit of a scenarios happened where I tried to install an eSIM onto my phone um, yeah that, that didn't work and it's actually wiped my SIM card so at the moment I've got no means of um, internet luckily I brought the sat nav from the truck with me just in case this happened so I've got a way of kind of loosely getting around but at the moment I'm literally following my nose and that had led me up into the mountains again away from the coast which was fantastic because this is exactly um, I love places like this this is this is what I, I really enjoy um, and yeah just enjoying this place really there was a severe weather warning yellow one yesterday for thunderstorms uh, and flash floods so I didn't want to go too far off these off-road tracks that there's plenty of them up here all signposted 4x4 off-road tracks um, so I just stayed by this little lake and I'm um, just going to enjoy hanging around here this morning and then work out uh, what I'm going to do. Yay, sun's coming out. I had an epic stay at this place last night by the lake. It's getting a bit brighter. It's a few ways out. That way, all the way I came in. Thought I'd show you guys the full setup on the Vanaguan. Uh, and what's involved and how it's running. Ended up crashing the drone in that tree <laughs> and it ended up down there so hopefully it was on its back and underwater so fingers crossed that's going to bloody dry out which uh, let's be honest probably won't but wishful thinking as always seems like I'm having a bit of a flipping technical meltdown at the minute everything's bloody playing up at once well obviously the drone didn't crash itself did it I, I did that but um yeah, gonna gonna probably stay around here for a little longer. Gonna leave this spot and um, just have a look on a sort of map on the sat nav that I've got. There's another little lake further up, so I'm gonna go check that out. Gotta love Portugal. There's just like bins everywhere. So easy to get rid of your rubbish. I just stick it in the footwell and then chuck it in the bin. Nice and easy. That's probably why you hardly see any rubbish anywhere. Because it's, it's so easy to get rid of. Track. Let's see how we get on here. This one seems okay. It's only a tiny one, I believe. On the sat nav, there looks to be some kind of lake down here. Oh, there we go. Hello. Not as nice as the other one, but still. I do love checking out those spots, but it's one of those things like you start getting when well, there's really good places, you start getting really fussy and um, yeah, about checking out places and like grading them and giving them a score almost. Um, yeah, cause it, just because everyone's awesome. You can tell all around here they've had fires in the past because all the bark on the trees is all black. But it seems that the 
tree somehow come back to life. So the fire mustn't have been that intense, but enough to char the trunks, which is quite interesting. Although I think some of them are cork trees, but then there are some eucalyptus mixed in as well. the all on that. had an amazing afternoon driving through the Portuguese countryside. I must say I do prefer it to the coast, if I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, the views basically on the um, kind of west side, lower west side, the cliff stuff is brilliant. You feel like you can't really use it properly because you're not allowed to camp there and you end up in some like kind of random places. The other day I stayed in a bloody Aldi car park because it was the only place that let you camp. Um, so that can be, that was quite annoying, but this countryside, man, it's so good. Um, found this uh, park up just by following my nose, basically. Uh, it's getting on a bit now, it's gonna be dark shortly. And I saw that there was a lake and then uh, there's a couple of dirt tracks down to the lake, but then I noticed there's houses on the way, so I didn't want to really intrude on those people. And then I just found this little um, track here, uh, over this viewpoint, that there's a dam down there. And um, yeah, this is where I've ended up. Got leveled up, all right, and here's the lake. I mean, it's a kind of reservoir, I guess, if it's a dam, but it's pretty nice. It's a great view. Might have to put some long strides on because I think there's a few mozzies around here. <sighs> well, another morning. I'm enjoying waking up and seeing the view from the sliding door. Let's see what we've got today. Today we've got a beauty. Looks like it's bright enough of it. Uh, a little bit cloudy, but hopefully that'll clear later on. I know that good weather's forecast soon, so that'll be pretty good. I've only got a few days left as well, and I'll probably leave Portugal today and head back into Spain. I'm not very far away from the border at the minute. But yeah, this spot's pretty nice, very peaceful. Well, I'm gonna head down there to the dam there. It's holding back all this water that I drove past yesterday. So I think I'll have a morning coffee down there this morning and um, maybe see what breakfast I can rustle up.
a dam that's holding back the reservoir. Could have probably camped there actually, but I prefer the place it was at, much more uh, in the nature as it were. Be friendly. Come here. Come here, puss. I don't know what it is with Portuguese cats. They're just not very friendly. 